Can you add cornstarch to crock pot? You can also add cornstarch dissolved in water, 1 or 2 tablespoons cornstarch to 2 or 3 tablespoons cold water, depending on how much liquid you have, directly to the slow cooker near the end of cooking to thicken the liquids. When should I add cornstarch to a slow cooker? The easiest way to do this is to stir in a cornstarch slurry during the last hour of slow cooking time. You'll combine 2 tablespoons of cornstarch with 2 tablespoons of water in a small bowl and stir until smooth. Stir this mixture into the slow cooker when there is 1 hour of cook time left. How can I thicken my stew without flour or cornstarch? A handful of uncooked rice. That's all folks, just a handful of white rice. Any kind will do, jasmine, basmati, short grain, long grain. When added to a brothy, or watery, even, soup, and left to simmer for 20-30 minutes, the rice breaks down, releasing its starch and thickening the liquid that it's cooking in. Should you thicken stew with flour or cornstarch? Cornstarch will thicken stew similar to flour, but has the added benefit of being flavorless and won't cloud the liquid as much. It's also gluten-free but has to be added carefully to avoid it gloppy lumps. One tablespoon cornstarch per cup of liquid will give you a medium-thick stew that's not overly viscous.